Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. In today's video, we are going to solve lead code question number 242 that is valid anagram. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. Given two strings S and T, return true if T is anagram of S and false otherwise. So basically, you will be given two strings. One is S and another one is T. You need to check whether T is anagram of S. If it is anagram of S, then you need to return true. If it is not an anagram of S, then you need to return false. So firstly, you need to understand what is anagram. Anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So if T contains the same number of characters as S, then it is an anagram. Otherwise, it is not an anagram. So the order could be different, but both the strings should contain same number of characters with the same count. So in the next example, you can see rat and car. Both the strings are different because they have different characters. So the output should be false in this case. Now let's understand how we are going to solve this problem. So let's take the same example. We have two strings. The first one is anagram and the another one is also anagram, but in the different order. N-A-G-A-R-A-M, right? So now let's say if I update the count of each character. So in this particular string, A is occurring three times. Then N, 1, G, 1, R, 1 and M is also 1, right? So this is the count of characters. And then I check in the string T. N is occurring 1. A is occurring 3. G, 1. R also occurs 1 and M also occurs 1. And then I check if the count of all the characters in the string S and T matches, then I can say it is an anagram and I can return true. Otherwise, I can return false. Right? But the problem is how we are going to update the count of the characters. Let me first remove this. So totally how many alphabets we have? 26. Right? So we are going to take one array from 0, 1, 2 up to so on 25, right? So 26 letters, that means 0 to 25. And then character by character, we are going to update the count. So we'll scan the string S, we'll see string A. So for string A, we are going to update the count as 1. But how we are going to check whether we need to update the count at the 0th index? So for that, we are going to use SKY values. So each character in the alphabet has its own SKY value starting from A, 97, B is 98, C is 99, up to so on, Z has 122. How we are going to increment the count? We will say count of S dot character at index I minus character A. So that means what is the first character? Character A. Character A minus character A. So what would be the sky value? 97 minus 97, it would become 0. So at the 0th index, we need to update the count. Move on to the next character, that is N. So similarly, here we need to do N minus A. So sky value of N is 110 minus sky value of A is 97, so it becomes 13. So that means at the 13th position, we need to update the count as 1. Then move on to the next character. Again, A. So A means A minus A that becomes 0. Again, at the 0th index, we need to update the count as 1. Similarly, for all the characters, we are going to update the count. So count of A becomes 3. N becomes 1. Somewhere here, it would be G. So G also becomes 1. Similarly, for R and M. So there would be 12th index that would be M character. So it would become 1. Once we update the count of all the characters for the string S, when we are scanning the character T, we are going to decrease the count. For example, N, N was 1. So now N becomes 0. M becomes 0. G becomes minus 1 that becomes 0. Similarly, when we are scanning A, A will come 3 times. So 3 minus 1, then 2. One more 1 came, 1. 1 minus 1, it becomes 0. And at the end, we are going to scan this complete array. If all the values are 0, 
that means there is no character left with count 1 so that means we can return true these are anagrams if all the values are 0 if any value is 1 then that means it is not an anagram of string s so in that case we are going to return false so this is how we need to solve this problem now let's write the solution for it. So this is our class that is valid anagram. Now let's write the method that would be public static boolean because it is going to return true false is anagram string s and string t. Right. And then firstly we are going to check the length of both the strings. If length itself is not equal then it cannot be an anagram. Right. So we can say int m is equals to s dot length and int n is equals to t dot length. And then let's check if, if m is not equal to n, then we can directly return false. Else, firstly, we are going to take one count array of length 26 since we have 26 alphabets. And then we are going to scan the first array from 0th till the length i++. Plus plus. And then for each character we need to update the count using the sky value. So that would be s dot caret i character a plus plus. Since we have to increment the value. Once we update the count of all the characters of string s then we need to scan the another string that is t i less than n i plus plus and this time we have to decrease the count so that we can make the count of each character as zero so it would be count t dot caret i minus a minus minus once we decremented the count so now we have got the count of each character in this array so we are going to check for int i is equals to 0 i less than count dot length i plus plus. If any value is not 0 count of i is not equal to 0. If any count is 1, 2 or 3 then that means it is not an anagram. We have to return false otherwise we have to return true. Return true. Correct. Now let's call our function. So let's take first two strings. String S is anagram and string T is also anagram but in the different order. So it is N-A-G-A-R-A-M. Let's write our print statement to call the function is anagram S comma T. Now let's run the program and see the output. So the output is true. Now let's take another example that was rat and car. A and R are same but T and C are different. So let's run the program and see the output. So the output here is false. So this is how we need to solve this problem. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Also provide your feedback in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.